So we're um, back on Russia Edge. A uh, good few years on since Derbyshire County Council officially closed it, so this is still closed bit of trail. Uh, when they got halfway through doing the job, so all what looks like railway ballast on the floor here. Uh, they're currently consulting on what they should do. Um, they've already done a consultation, they've had some time to think, they've come back with some more plans. Um, and I'd invite all user groups to um, submit their views. Uh, and I think it's fair to say anything's better than what we've got at the moment. But yeah, lots of nice bits of bedrock. Don't really see why they shouldn't stay. So when I say anything's better than what we've got, what I mean by that is at the moment it's closed, it's not really safe to use, the repairs they've done so far are wholeheartedly inappropriate, and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. It's definitely the biggest sort of face or drop on Russia. Uh, measured it in a couple of places, probably about 30 centimetres. Um, what we'd like to see, or I'd certainly like to see, is pitch some stone up to it. So rather than bury the entire track, just to effectively fix a couple of smaller issues, I'd say this is definitely the biggest. Um, just pitch some stone like they've done on the Reutschklough, only a mile away. Um, so rather than being a drop, you've got a number of larger rocks kind of slabbing up to it. So you still kind of get rolling over some nice natural rock, but there's no lips, there's no drops. Um, and you can see for the majority of this, it's all pretty flat bedrock. So that approach would seem the most logical. It isn't going to wash out, it's not going to erode because it's bedrock. Um, so you're not going to get all the issues you've got only a couple of miles away over on Chapelgate on the other side of the hill. All well, those big deep rills all the way along it. So you've got until the 10th of July to input to the consultation. Uh, the full plans can be viewed on Derbyshire County Council's website. Uh, it'd be great for as many mountain bikers as possible to put forward our views and make sure we're represented.